Hi everyone, I'm Deb Horan. I run Book Lovers Gourmet here in Webster, Mass. And today I have uh, artist and photographer David Niles from Paxton, Mass. And he is the featured artist of the month for April. So his work will be on view here at the shop in the cafe gallery um, from April 1st through the 30th. And you can come in and see it any time during our regular business hours, which are 10 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. So welcome, David, and we're Hello. happy to have you and host your Thank work. You. And um, first, tell us a little bit about your artistic background. I know you kind of grew up in an artistic family because your dad was actually a professor at RISD, and he happened mm -hmm. to be one of my favorite professors there in yeah. when I um, took illustration there. So um, what else is, has influenced you to become well, a photographer, artist? It's, it's kind of funny. When I was young, younger, <laughs> young, um, I, wa I, I was kind of a budding rock star, or, or I thought I was. And uh, my dad was always trying to get me into something else. So he bought me a camera one Christmas. Mm -hmm. And it's like I, I started taking photos, and, it's, and I thought, this is great. And eventually, I went to photography school in Boston, uh, New England School of Photography, and started working as a photographer when I moved to New Hampshire. And so I worked for the Portsmouth Herald. I had a business for a while as a mm -hmm. photographer. And then years later, I decided I wanted to do something completely different. So I got into RISD for two years mm -hmm. and um, basically took every possible course that wasn't photography, even though I was a photo major. Mm -hmm. Um, which is how I came, sort of how I came to this, because I started doing montage, which I had never done before. Mm -hmm. And I started doing video. Um, I took a bookmaking class at Winter mm -hmm. Session, mm -hmm. you know, so. Um, yeah, so I yeah. took a stone carving class once, oh, yeah. just to be different, <laughs> just to try something there new. There was always interesting things yeah. at Winter Session. Yeah. So, um, but so tell us about your process for, th or this series of work that you've been, you call it Nate's Nate's adventures. adventures. Yeah, so, so Nate is my son, um, and I started doing these probably, uh, gosh, it was at least eight years ago. Um, he's 18 now, and I was taking photographs that I had, had already taken and putting Nate into these settings. settings. Yeah. And, you know, I, I would always see him playing in the yard, and I never knew, he, he has a great imagination, mm -hmm. and I never knew what he was doing, mm -hmm. and sometimes he, he would invite a friend over when he was little and they would be running around and talking and gesturing and doing mm -hmm. all this stuff. And he never wanted to share with us what he was doing. It was like secret. We don't want to, you know. <laughs> so yeah. so it, it, I guess it was my way of putting him in situations um, and kind of interpreting, knowing what his interests were and interpreting his play. Mm. Um, although the thing that's kind of funny is that there's a lot of uh, dinosaurs and these images. And after I had done this for probably two or three years, he said, uh, you know, Dave, he calls me Dave. He doesn't uh, call me Dad. Okay. <laughs> he goes, you know, Dave, I'm not really that into dinosaurs. Oh. So, but anyway, <laughs> so here they are. <laughs> um, and what do you use as far as equipment for photographing or doing the collage or montage? So the, the cameras vary because when I was, was first doing this, I had just a little point and shoot camera. Mm -hmm. And then at some point I got an icon and um, started shooting with that. So, so basically they're all put together in Photoshop. And the, the one thing that happened, interesting just to look at, um, like this image here, <coughs> um, this is just how we put it together. This, the bottom part where he's running is actually Moore State Park in Paxton. Mm. And the mountain is Franconia Notch. Oh. So I put them together. And I got this pterodactyl online somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, so there might be, you know, two or three images that are put together. There might be multiple images. Mm -hmm. And if anyone is interested, please stop in and take a look at the work. Um, it is for sale, I believe. Yes. Yes. So uh, we are located at 72 East Main Street in Webster. And again, Book Lovers Gourmet. And you can stop in anytime during our business hours, 10 to 5, Tuesday through Saturday. Thank you. Thanks for watching.